G'day guys, Billy here from Dumbyong, West Australia. Well, guys and girls, it's about day five of planting uh, seeds off our local species of trees, Melleleuca, Acacias, Eucalypt, Melle, uh, many, many different types of species, guys. York gum, white gum, uh, rock she oak, mana gum, uh, jam tree and sandalwood uh, trees, sandalwood uh, nuts and jam trees. So the jam, the sandalwood needs a host, the jam tree as a host. So they need to be planted together. But anyway, guys, what I've just done a few days ago was prune this tree. There's a couple of branches overhanging. And uh, it's a, it's a uh, Melleleuca tree, just a species of Melleleuca, beautiful, beautiful shady tree. And I thought I'd collect some seeds, so it's really easy, just break off branches, what you need, make sure they contain the seed pods. And uh, let them rest for a couple of days, maybe two or three days. Make sure they don't get wet, because uh, otherwise the seeds will go mouldy, and the branches will go mouldy as well. So it's pretty pretty easy guys, so I basically I just pruned a few uh, tree prunings of the Melleleuca, these are the actual seed pods, and they've all opened up. So, you can just see the holes where all the seeds have opened up and fallen out, so basically I'm just grabbing the, the seeds, and you might be able to see the actual, sorry, the uh, prunings. And give them a shake just to release all the seeds and it's like a fine dust what comes out so I'm just giving them a good shake and hit it against the, the bin so I'm just using a old plastic bin guys you can use any container there's also going to be a lot of seeds on the bottom of this container here. And I'm just making sure I can collect as many seeds as I can. So I'm just about to plant them in these pots here. Okay, so we'll keep going and so it's like a fine powder. The seeds. You can do this with any different type of uh, Australian tree species, eucalypt. You can also lay the actual uh, prunings on top of the pots like that. I've done videos on uh, doing this before and that's another great way of growing trees. So you just get the prunings and just lay them on the pots and let them sit on the pots for probably about four or five days. Once again guys, make sure they don't get wet and then after all the seeds will fall into the top of the pots and you just cover up the pots with soil. I'll put the link below to that video. That's uh, just a lazy way of growing trees. So that's how it happens in the wild guys, in Mother Nature, you know, these will fall on the ground and the seed pods will just fall on the ground Then the rain comes and uh, the sun and the, the, the seeds will get germinated. So when you see a beautiful big ancient tree what's fallen on the ground, uh, you know it's sad to see but unfortunately that's just the way it happens guys in the wild and all of the trees of that beautiful ancient tree will start germinating from the fallen branches. The wind will come and blow the seeds all over and just amazing how mother nature works. All right, we're nearly finished guys.
already I can just start seeing a lot of like powder on the bottom of the of the uh, bin. Right there guys, so they're seed pods. They're the actual seed pods. But you can just see this here. So all of that is seeds, beautiful Melly Lucas seeds. Okay, so it's really, really easy to grow. It's just like a powder. You just sprinkle it on top of the pots like that. Like, uh, like that on top of the pots and that's beautiful guys and there's a beautiful wood bug I'll let him go a stink bug or a wood bug I'll just call him a wood bug my magpie will get him or something will get him anyway that's how you do it guys and we'll empty this in there Look at that guys, it's like sifting for gold. All of that, and see all that beautiful powder? That's all seeds. So I'll be planting that today in probably 100 or 200 pots. And also guys, I'm gonna lay this on top of the pots. Oh, and once I've uh, planted, once the, uh, I've planted the actual seeds, I might as well just lay the rest of these on top of the pots to make sure we get a, another layers of seeds laying on top of the pots so that's how you do it guys just any type of uh, Australian uh, native um, just uh, get the prunings make sure they've got seed pods on them put them in a bucket like this for a few days and let them dry out and um, even after the first day guys the seeds will start falling into the bucket okay all right we'll continue going thanks for watching everyone see ya <laughs>